even when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gonna have you jealous, uh I know that I YouTube, Cobra family, welcome Um, first and foremost, y'all, again, man Thank y'all for all the love and support y'all been showing, man Like, this is, this is, like, incredible The amount of love y'all been showing like, I really, truly, genuinely appreciate y'all, man. Like, thank y'all, <laughs> thank y'all so much. I, re I really can't like thank y'all enough, man. Um, but uh, yeah, y'all know this is this is the update part of the video. So the people that want to go to um, you know, the reaction part, y'all can just go ahead and skip ahead. But for the people that's at this part, so um, yeah, a couple things, y'all. So um, if anybody new to this part, I go ahead and like just give y'all a little, a very brief recap of what's been going on, and then. I'm gonna update y'all on you know where we at currently. So um, for those who don't know, like it's it's been some it's been some stuff ongoing stuff going on with my landlord here. As of like it's just been going on for months and months. So ever since I've really been over here, I've been over here for, for about like what a year, two years. And this this particular situation kind of like takes the cake for me. Like I've been wanting to move for a minute, y'all, but it. Anywho, um, so she had this thing, right, where everybody over here, like, if you renewed your lease early, and this was in May, you renew your lease early, you get July all free, like, you don't have to worry about rent at all, right? Well, fast forward to this month, long story short, she changed it on, I literally got, got a call on the second from the finance lady of uh, this month, and she said, like, the landlord, she changed it and said, if you got any kind of balance, then... It's gonna be on top of your rent, and I'm like, why, why, why would you that? Again, we 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 talked about this in the comments. Y'all were telling me like y'all don't think it's legal. I don't think it's legal, but um, anywho, fast forward to uh like a couple of days. Oh, which by the way, um that that put us all the way at like a thousand and forty forty something dollars. But um, fast forward to to yesterday. It was yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Well, day before yesterday. Um, we went into the office and, and um make make our payment and everything, what what we could. And the finance lady told me that she changed it for me. I, I don't well she changed it for me. I don't know how how she did it for everybody else over here, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't specifically just for me. But the uh, finance lady told me that if I get at least like three hundred and ninety two dollars by friday then she said like i don't i'm not gonna have to worry about rent this month because the finance and shout out to the finance lady because she been she's been like one of people like that that is somebody you need in like the the like the like with the the landlord people like the people that work in the office she's like she's that person or she's the kind of person you need in the office like i'm somebody that's genuinely willing to help if stuff hits the fan with like rent and all this stuff, right? So I'ma always say it. Shout out to her again, man. Like she extremely helpful. So she ended up telling me that uh, you know, we gotta have uh three hundred and ninety two dollars by Friday. Now the only thing is though, like she kinda I don't know how long, you know, that that was in effect for because I kinda that is it, low key kinda like last minute and everything. Because I mean, y'all see, we only got until Friday. Like today is Wednesday. We got today, tomorrow, and then you know Friday. So I mean, we it's kind of cutting it real close. Like I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like I'm I'm stressing out. Like when when this camera cut off, I'm I'm over here stressing, like trying to see like you know what what's gonna happen. Because he said if we don't if we don't have it by um Friday, then you know Saturday it's gonna go back to being like around a thousand dollars. And well, really like 800 something. Because remember, I told y'all, like, we we got like, well, I got like 800 something, but I just asked y'all for 700. Because again, y'all, I told y'all, it, it's already hard enough for me to even ask y'all. So I feel like it's asking for too much to make y'all try to. I, I, I wouldn't want to try to pay for all of it, like, you know. So, but yeah, I, if that does happen, then I would just have to put the gold back at 700 and. That, that that will be a lot of money going in the next month. Cause she said if I go all the way in the next month with that amount of money, then yeah, we it, it's a guarantee we're getting evicted. So, you know. They, this is really like the, our like the, the biggest chance right here. Like this, this if we hit this three hundred and ninety two dollar goal, 
then you know we'll like everything gonna be fine. Or well, it's not gonna be perfect, but I still at least be able to still be be in here, y'all. So you know, but yeah. Um, and then as y'all can see from this, currently right now as I'm talking about it, like there's nothing in the uh, cash app or, pay or uh, PayPal because them the only two um, donation options I have, y'all. Which if y'all y'all want to help help out, um, yeah, like I said, the cash app or PayPal available. But um, yeah, currently as I'm speaking about this, like this this is this is where we at with it right now. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know how this is finna go. Like I'm not, you know, again I'm not even a fan of doing this. You know, like I, and then on top of that, y'all, another thing too, like when I find out about this, like at the beginning of the month, I try to find for job after job after job. For some odd reason, jobs do not like. I don't know what's going on now. They, it was not this hard back then getting a job. Like four, five years ago, y'all, when I was working like crazy, it was not this hard to get a job. Like, or I, I don't know. It, I've been hearing on TikTok just getting a job nowadays is getting harder. I see was, I see why. It, at this point, it seems like you genuinely have to know somebody at that workplace, like somebody like a manager or something to even like get. You can't even get like a recommendation to, to get the job, you know, something like that. So it's like, it, it is extremely hard to get a job. And then even DoorDash, y'all, like I, for one, I hadn't even heard anything back from DoorDash. I don't even know how DoorDash, I'm still trying to figure that out. But the, 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 the DoorDash idea came like kind of late too. But even, even still, even if I was to get it, people told me you need your own gas. And it's like, I, I, with no money, I can't keep gas in there. So it's, so it's like y'all see what y'all see what what's going on. But see, I'm literally doing like I'm trying everything in the book, like any any and everything. So yeah, y'all. Again, hate having to bother y'all with this, but you know, I I told y'all, man, if I, when you need help, don't don't be don't be afraid to ask. Like even though like for me, like I'm I'm used to like working in. Like I told you, I didn't work like three, four different jobs. Like I worked at a fast food place, a, a restaurant, a, a cleaning company. Like I didn't, I didn't been through it. You know, I know how I feel to work and I will gladly work when I need to at any given moment. But, you know, like I said, it's just so hard getting a job nowadays. And it's like, it's just, I don't know. Like a lot of people, a lot of companies and places that like, they just don't want to hire anybody new to begin with. So. Yeah, that's what we currently at. Um, like I said, we the goal now. The only good thing about this is at least it's three hundred and ninety-two dollars now, cause that's a that's a that's way better than what we had to deal with. But still, like I said, we don't if we don't hit that goal by Friday, then stuff is gonna it's gonna go back up, and then yeah, we for sure getting evicted with all that money piling up on top of each other next month. So yeah, y'all. Um, that's it for right now. And again, like I told you, I'm gonna keep y'all updated every step of the way for the people that's been keeping up or any new people that's been keeping up. Like, I'm gonna update y'all every, every step of the way. Like, if we, if we somehow, maybe, potentially hit it early, then I would like let y'all know and then I'll tell y'all, all right, y'all, that's enough, like, you know. But yeah, and again, like I told y'all, I am I am stressing. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I am stressing, so. Yeah, like I'm trying not to show it on camera, but yeah, I'm stressing very hard right now. So, yeah, y'all, but uh, that's gonna do it for for right now. And I'm gonna keep y'all updated and let y'all know if anything changes. And um, yeah, that's it. But um, anywho, let's go ahead and get to the reaction. You too, Cobra Squad, Cobra Family, um, my only supporters, welcome. Matter of fact, I should say my Hawaiian supporters, welcome. As y'all see from the title, y'all see who we got. Oh man, we got my boy Maoli. Maoli. My I can't talk today, y'all. My so excuse me, excuse me if his name come out wrong. <coughs> or <coughs> if anything come out wrong, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Anywho, um the song he's performing is called Every Night, Every Morning. Um if y'all don't know, um I have reacted to um my boy Maoli in the past, and I I definitely remember having fun reacting to him. He's like very he's he's another person that makes very calming, very peaceful, very soothing kind of uh, music, and I just I I love it. 
I love it. Not um, I was gonna say something else. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I I love like the way he he goes about making his music too, cause I told y'all like we need more music like this. Like genuinely, we need more music like this. Like matter of fact, maybe I just need to. I feel like. There should be more Hawaiian artists in general. Matter of fact, there probably is. If y'all got some more Hawaiian artists y'all want me to uh, listen to, y'all y'all let me know in the comments because I tell I tell y'all all the time, like Tone, him and Tongi, like I I just love their music and love how they, you know, just come off. And it's all their music is always so peaceful. So yeah, y'all let me know in the comments. But anywho, without further freaking do, thank you right to it. Thank you guys <laughs> working your guys' butts off for the past months, weeks, right? Thank you guys so much for putting in your guys' effort, and it's going to show tonight, all right? Um, I ask that you take everybody safely, Lord. Uh, we just give this light up to you, Lord. We give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, we all say. Amen. 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 Chuck it on three. Chuck it on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Chuck it! <laughs> I'm loving it so far. I'm loving it, bro. Like, I mean, I uh, I tell y'all this all the time, man. Like, music like this is just so needed. Like, this kind of energy of music, bro. Like, you need this kind of peaceful, calming, stress-free music. Like, everybody needs this kind of music. Because I just feel like music nowadays, mainstream music nowadays, y'all, it's just... It's, I, me personally, I feel like some a lot of songs just like get repetitive, and a lot of stuff is just like not good to the ear, very extreme. And you know, especially in the rap game, like a whole bunch of talking talk about like you know shooting guns at people and you know drugs. Now it's like man, turn some music on like this. Let this go mainstream. Let this go viral. You feel what I'm saying? Like this is what I want to hear. Like peaceful, this kind of music needs to be viral everywhere. <sighs> Anywho, um, I'm loving this song so far, y'all. Rockin' pointed vest, rockin' chair. Baby, some love never fades. Baby, some things never change. I still feel for
she, I just love that, bro. Like, and then y'all see how he is at the end, telling his supporters like he loved him. Like, but by the way, shout out to Hawaii in general, bro. Y'all are just some of the most nicest, humble, like caring people I've ever met. Like, out of all support bases, like I've met, like y'all are definitely like y'all are definitely the top. And even in person, bro, like y'all are just y'all are some amazing people, Hawaii. Shout out to all my Hawaiian people, man. And again, y'all, I don't I don't know how many people gonna even come across this because again, we shadow being. And if y'all know what shadow band mean, that mean like you get a lot less views like than normal, despite like having really good analytics because our um our analytics click through rate like everything is still like green, everything is still good. But you know, I don't know when it's gonna gonna end. But you know, hopefully we we gonna be posting regardless. So hopefully it'll just go away. But um yeah, my Hawaiian people, y'all are y'all. I love y'all, man. <laughs> I love y'all. Like, y'all are some amazing people. And I couldn't... Look. Y'all make me want to go to Hawaii one day. Hope, uh, Like I told y'all in the last one, hopefully, you know, one day I do get to move to Hawaii. And, um... Yeah. Yeah. Like, y'all are y'all are some amazing people, man. But, um... Yeah, shout out to Mali once again. Um, amazing. I gotta... I gotta get, get uh, some more of his music. And, um... Yeah, more him on the way, matter of fact. So y'all stay tuned. But um anywho, that's gonna do it, y'all. Um yeah, y'all stay safe, stay out of trouble. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all the next one. The influence all the times you told me beat it. Now you gotta face the music I'm saying.